Welcome back. Today we want to uh, think a little bit more on Jonathan Edwards' sermon, East of Eden. Uh, we spent some time uh, talking about this in our previous video about what was lost, uh, how wonderful it was before the fall, how much was lost in the fall. And uh, now we want to take some time to think about uh, how this reality of, of what was lost and, and how far we fell will help us uh, be so thankful for the gospel. Uh, we're thankful for the gospel because, of course, uh, the other, one of the consequences of the fall is that the wrath of God uh, remains on us. We, we face the, the likelihood, uh, apart from Christ, the, the reality that we will uh, be eternally uh, judged by God, eternally condemned by God. And so uh, this helps us be thankful for the gospel. Uh, it's, we're thankful for the gospel because in the gospel, uh, what was lost in the fall, in a sense, has been restored to us. Uh, now, we don't have it in full measure on this side of glory, but in heaven we will. Uh, but on this side of glory, we, as a matter of fact, have many of the things that were lost are given back to us. Uh, what we lost was fellowship with God, and we now, in Jesus Christ, have fellowship with God. And so, uh, one of the reasons you want to be thankful uh, that you have salvation, if you are, in fact, one who is trusting in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, one of the reasons you want to be thankful is that you, uh, without Christ, could not have the joy-giving communion with God, and now you can. Uh, in uh, in uh, God's kindness, uh, one of the benefits of the gospel is that you have fellowship with God in Jesus Christ. Uh, you now, uh, before, uh, we were afraid of a holy God, and now we can delight in His holiness. As a matter of fact, we can long to be holy like He is holy, uh, because His holiness no longer threatens uh, to punish us. His holiness, it's now ho He is now consistently holy to love us and show his and have good fellowship with us because uh, the justice of God has been satisfied in Jesus Christ. And so uh, we are thankful for the gospel because in the gospel, we get back what was lost in the fall. Uh, and another way to think about it, though, is just the glory of Christ that's revealed in all of this. One of, one of the things that we're able to see more clearly because the fall happened and because redemption happened, we're, one of the things we're able to see more clearly is just the great glory of God in uh, uh, especially considering that he would be within his rights to crush us in our sin and to offer no hope of redemption. And yet in his kindness, he has made a way of salvation possible. As a matter of fact, he's made that way of salvation possible through the costly shedding of the blood of his own son. And so we see in ways that we wouldn't have seen uh, had there been no fall, we're able to see the glory of God revealed in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so uh, one of the ways that we uh, we end uh, the sermon uh, about the fall, uh, which seems to be a sermon that would be a bit of a downer, uh, you had great things and you lost it through sin, uh, the way it ends on a high note is a reflection on what is what we get in Jesus Christ, how what we lost has been restored, and how we wait and look forward to his return in which we won't face judgment because Christ has bore our wrath, uh, bore our sin, bore our punishment, and given us his righteousness. And because of that, we can stand in him and we can see God's glory clearly. And we look forward now to his return when we will uh, be reunited with him and to live with him forever.